Things are all tied up now in the NFC West after the Rams managed to beat the Seahawks on Tuesday night football. That game initially scheduled for Sunday, but of course postponed because of COVID. So what that means, both the Rams and the Cardinals now even at the top of their division. And all hail Cooper Cup, by the way, with his 120th catch of the season, breaking the Rams single season reception record set by Isaac Bruce, who had 119 back in 1995. So the Rams, since dropping three in a row, have now won three in a row. Nice momentum heading into the final games of the season. Let's welcome in Charles Davis, who will be on the call for a great game in Week 16, Bills at Patriots. We'll get to that in a minute. But let's start with a little Tuesday night football action, Rams beating the Seahawks. And when it comes to those quarterback wide receiver duos, there have been some great ones in history. But where does Stafford to Cup rank for you in the league right now? Oh, it ranks near the top of the league, if not at the top. But the competition, as you know, Amanda is fierce. All right? If we're talking about Stafford to Cup, what about Rodgers to Devontae Adams, right? Josh Allen to, to, to Stephon Diggs. Patrick Mahomes to either Travis Kelsey or Tyreek Hill, okay? Tom Brady, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin. We could go on with a few others when you get the point, but this one is a lethal duo. And it's funny, Amanda, the first time I saw Cooper Cup was at the Manning Passing Academy, and I believe he was a freshman at Eastern Washington. And I was captivated by this young man running routes. And all I kept hearing from people is, well, he's not this, he's not that. I said, I've never seen anyone but run better routes. And he was a freshman at Eastern Washington then. So I jumped up on a table. I was behind him the entire way. And everyone wants to claim him now. I get it. Trust me, Amanda, you can find it. I was big on Cooper Cup. And now to see him develop like this. It, it doesn't surprise me one bit. This kid is just excellent. And in fact, other receivers around the league that I talked to, they're grabbing his tape to watch what he does because they want to little, find a little bit of that magic themselves. I can only picture you on a table right now, Charles, watching well, believe, Cooper believe me, it, wasn't, it wasn't Coyote Ugly by any stretch, although the ugly part comes in. But yes, I was on the table. You are very handsome, sir. <laughs> Let's talk about the NFC West. Uh, the Cardinals, they've been hurting for a little bit here. They've dropped two in a row. And, and something just seems a little off with this team. They're now at 10-4, and four, even with the Rams. The 49ers, they've been sneaky good. They're right behind them. A lot of focus has been around the AFC North is the most contested division right now in football. But this is getting pretty close here. It certainly is. What a great point. And, and I think that now what comes into play – is this Cardinals team keeping the noise out of their locker room that every team talks about, right? You only want the noise within, not the noise from outside. Well, the noise from outside is, hey, last two years, you guys collapsed down the stretch. Are you doing it again? Different team, different time. I think if nothing else, that loss to Detroit, if that doesn't springboard them into their best performance or their best effort of the year this coming week, I don't know what will. The only downside is, here comes maybe the hottest team in the league, the team that I'm not sure anyone wants to deal with right now. That's the Indianapolis Colts and Jonathan Taylor coming out. I completely agree. Let's go through these teams. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.